Yeah, I train my deer. This is double wide. And I'm really hoping that he survives till next year. He's a three-year-old. I passed him. And so far, two of the other three-year-olds are gone. The gnarly buck number two is gone, and the neighbor shot Fraggle Rock. He's getting like me because I passed him. But fingers crossed that this double wide makes it till next year. So I'm hoping I get him on trail cam here. I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, Capper here and welcome to this week's farm vlog. I've got some updates for you. But first of all, those guitar jingles that you've heard twice so far is potentially our new kind of theme song as we open videos. Uh, CJ from Schick Happens, who is quite talented, mind you, has uh, made that up for us. So if you don't mind, tell me what you think of it. It's basically just for when you open videos and maybe close them at the end. Let me know what you think. There's three different versions I'm going to mix in here, but let's get back into the farm vlog. Okay, so I recently picked up the new LP stove slash oven for the Kentucky house. I'm going to start calling it the Kentucky cabin because that's what it's going to seem like. But anyways, uh, the progress is moving ahead slowly but surely. All right, a little bit of driveway maintenance. I do need to grade it with the box blade, but I just haven't got around to it. But this will help smoothen the rock out a little bit, hit some of the dry spots, you know, where it's pushing in a little. Hey guys, Capper here, December 1st, and moving more chess pieces. I just picked up another office chair from uh, Facebook Marketplace, 20 bucks again. All right, I got two more chairs to add to the collection. Uh, these were from two different people off of like Marketplace, 20 bucks a piece. And believe you me, that they really work. Uh, if you got a bad back or a bad body to sit in a deer tower with a, with a chair that, you know, reclines and goes up and down, it's it really, really helps you get out in the field. Another chess move. Oh yeah, we got some Don't Fear the Reaper going. Going around checking trail cams in the Polaris. One quick go around during the uh, middle of gun season, which I don't normally do. But I'm looking for a particular deer. So it's midday, taking a spin around. I'm not changing batteries, I'm just grabbing the cards and uh, see what's out there and see if there's a reason for me to be hunting tonight, tomorrow or not. I gotta turn this back up here. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go hang that buck with the tractor just because it's the uh, quickest and easiest way to hang it overnight. I do have a tree hanger, but it just, when you got a tractor, it's just a lot easier to use it. Well, I guess since I'm right here by the house. Ah! I'm trying to get rid of this down tree here. Uh, another reason I just remembered, you know, why my machine rocks a lot is because if you remember, I had them take out the little orifice. Yeah, that's just not even gonna work.
power. So when there's some times where it just does that, it's, it's not necessarily operator error, although occasionally it is. A lot of it is that because that orifice, I had them remove that for more power. So just a couple drags like this, you know, 10 minutes, uh, two passes will buy me another couple months. You know, it'll pull some of that loose rock off of the edge in the middle and buy me a couple months before I got to do anything else with it. Right, so a couple of weeks ago, I sent back my Vortex binoculars. These are the first kind of like higher end ones I ever had, even though it's a, a lower end for the Vortex. I got them through uh, Expert Voice, where if you're like prior law enforcement or military, you get big discounts. So anyways, the second day I was after that big buck, um, these got, got, they got all wet. And I figured they're probably just going to send me a new pair, which is what looks like what they did. I don't think they repaired my other ones. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you know, it's, they're probably at least two or three years old, and they got some water in them. I couldn't see through one of the eyes. Sent them back. Um, got a brand new pair. Can't beat that when you buy a good product. <laughs> clip there for you, Joe.